Okay, this is the Algebra 2 practice test, the end of course test practice test. Uh, this is question number 29. I should say this is the first practice test. Javier placed the same three ads in a monthly paper for each of the last 10 months, th which is a long time. So if he's looking for a date, not going well, and I hope he's not looking for a pet even more. The monthly number of responses he received to each ad are listed below. Javier used this information to calculate the interquartile range for each ad, which lists the ads in order for least to greatest for interquartile range. So the question speaks about interquartile range. So when I think of quarters, obviously I think of how many quarters are in a dollar. And these are the worst drawn quarters ever. See, they're 25 cents. And I'm not going to bother with the rest because my handwriting and picture drawing are horrible, so you don't need to suffer through that. So if I'm going to talk about what's between the quarters, so the inner two, so all the way up at the end of Q3 and down to Q1. So to find this distance, or the difference between them, I'm going to take whatever Q3 is, subtract Q1. The key is I need to find those things. So I need to split up what halfway point is. So I'm going to find this point right now in each one of my sets. So for add 1, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It says there's 10, so I don't know why I didn't trust them, but I didn't. So I'm going to find after 5 would be the midpoint. So this is the halfway point. Uh, same here at 5 for add 2 and add 3. It's the same thing. Now I need to find where the quarter is, so that would be the halfway point of each one of these parts I've broken in half. So from 0 to 3, what's the middle number? It would be the 1. From 4 and 11, the middle number is 6. So for here, it's 2 and 8. So these are my quarters. See, they even look like the circles down here. Brilliant, right? Not really. Uh, circle this and circle this. Now I need to find the range between them, so I'm just going to subtract. For add 1, I do 6 minus 1, so my interquartile range is 5. Uh, for add 2, I do 8 minus 2, my interquartile range was 6. And for the last one, add 3, I do 7 minus 3, and my interquartile range is 4. They want to know least to greatest, so I need to put this one first. So add 3 goes first. My second one would be the 5, so that would be add 1. And then my final one would be uh, add 2. So I'm going to look for the one that shows add 3, add 1, and add 2. So my correct answer is C. So if you break it out into quarters, uh, find that Q3 and that Q1, find the range, just make a least greatest comparison, I think everything will work out great for you, and you'll do magic. So good luck.